Hey, hello everyone. My name is Mika. I'm a Tanuki here on my channel, and today is FanFest Day. If you are not excited, I'll be excited on your behalf. Alright. Hey, hey, everyone. My name is Mika. I'm a Tanuki here on my channel, and, uh... That was an OBS crash! <laughs> of all the times to do that, too. Jeez Louise. Alright. So we're gonna have to be ultra super duper careful just in just in case because goodness goodness gracious that was terrifying <laughs> hi luca good to see you all right today's painting subject is um actually a little easier than the last one it still has a lot of colors but they're in a smaller quantity than they were for like the burger or the parfait it's still a lot of colors but a good chunk of them are so far removed from each other that i don't have to borrow from the palettes of other ones that said we are still going to be using a lot of color <laughs> It is surprisingly selling for very cheap on the market board right now, despite it being the only known housing item representative of the New World. But it is the New World burrito. Let's get the show on the road and move over to the painting area. All right, we're all good. There is our reference up there. My canvas is straight, which means my camera isn't. As you can see, we have a white canvas. Sadly, I ran out of black canvas. <laughs> That's the only reason why. We are working with four palettes today. I know, real exciting. Last time we had three. All right. We will start with the wood grain for the bottom layer. part of the reason I keep toothpicks near my art desk. Sometimes I clog my paints. I, I know. And just a little, little dab of black. I'm not gonna take these pieces. I have my normal mixture of water, conditioner, and dish soap. redwoodish color, but I will add more yellow and black. Well, I'll, I'll see how the yellow turns out. I don't know if the black. I don't know, the, the yellow did go pretty good. Brown enough. Let's move this out of the way before we have a spill. And the thing about doing paint like this back and forth stroke is that you will naturally get that like wood green texture. Now, I'm not so worried about the edges because naturally having them faded out like that is pretty cool. Makes it look almost photographic. Alright, I think I will have to make more. 
red, yellow, but not equal amount, a third more. You. I gotta paint Louie. This one paint those little snotty things where there's dry chunks in it. Ew. And a black. I did not put unclogging my paints on the list of preparations, obviously. That's on me. I didn't think it would be a problem this time, so I'm on a little paint on my shoulder. And I plop the camera. I'm actually gonna go rinse this palette off. I need to bring it back. I'm back with a rinsed palette. Let me dry it with one of the painting towels. this time because it was such a mess. I'm going to paint it out the first time. Alright, I see what I have to do now is lead it with the toothpick instead of hoping the toothpick will undo the clog. <laughs> Just a dot more yellow. It's still spilling over into the other part of the palette, but that's okay. I'm gonna start it to dry so I can it. I can do this in coats too. Because I will need a slightly lighter variant of this. slightly more yellow to make it more vivid panels to do it. I am going to add in like the separation lights that I feel like making my work slightly easier on myself. Smart, huh? And we're gonna let this 
dry. I have the fan on full blast, so it shouldn't take too long. It's probably angling more downward, though. Okay, I'm going to be using my paint. I had a lot to pick up the paint with these. I just need the center part to dry because that's where it's the thickest. Like once that dries, I can go back over it with another coat. is going over with the brighter color on one side on this on the panels I want to be darker using what's left over on the brush instead of like refilling it all together. So that way it still gets brighter but it's not bright enough to make a whole lot of it. It's got a bit of red in there. one of my more precise brushes and I'm going to go in with that dark brown and black mixture to actually separate the panels. It needs to make it feel like there's a light source in the shadow. So I'm fading it um, towards the right so it seems like the light's coming from that way. Now whether I remember that I did that and continue the trend is uh, between me and a teeny tiny little brain cells to remember. Of course again, with the edges faded, just using a little bit of that color. Take a touch more black because I'm running out of it. I'm prone to multitasking, which makes painting all the more ridiculous sometimes. All right. Now, the plate. It seems like it would be basically the same color, right? You would think. ever so slightly less annoying. A, because I need way less black. What? So getting that uh, overpour color is not at all a worry for me. First off, and secondly, I need white. Again, like we did in the last time, what I do is I shake the bottle and I leave some on the cap. That way it doesn't get back into the giant puddle of white milk. Right now we have this kind of reddish brown light color. I'm gonna add some yellow and maybe another dot of red or magenta, depending on how the yellow turns out. And someone asked me this off stream if my kit of brushes came with palettes. It did. However, for the size of palette that I have, and the amount of paint I tend to use, a palette serves no purpose here. Okay, I have two with red, so now I'm going to add more yellow. And yet another singular dot of black. I get the toothpick. Oops. I'm gonna keep hitting this just so you know. See, it keeps going back to color that's like way too dark for my liking. So I have to keep adding yellow. Alright, I think this is well enough. Alright, so we're looking for an ovular shape.
cleaning the bigger brushes in my tiny little cup is so difficult that I have to like go ahead and clean them or else I won't be able to put any other brushes into the cup because of how the lid is. Like I'll show you what the lid looks like. It's a little concave thing so I don't spill the water and it'll like angle the brushes in there so like you're getting little soapy bits in the corner. So I have to like swash it around in the conditioner soap mix. Okay, plate complete. Next up, I'm gonna start on the actual burrito color and I'm gonna draw like the whole cylinder. All right, now the tortilla. Tortilla is a very simple color. It's a lot of yellow. A lot more white. Where's my slightly bigger and less annoying brush? All right, this one. It's very yellow. A lot more white than yellow, though. And ever so lightly, a touch of brown, which means I will have to add a red. However, because I don't know how severe of a red I need, I'm going to add magenta, which has hints of orange in it. Which is why you use magentas to make um, purples. Because paint pigments are weird. All right, so right now I have this peachy color. It doesn't seem like it is a tortilla color, right? Until you add a shite little white to it. <laughs> now for this one, I'm gonna pour it. It's a very pale peachy color, which is a good base for a tortilla because it has like that peachy undertone. All right, so I'm looking at how it angles. I'm gonna dot where I stop myself here, 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 and here. Okay. Now, I bet you're wondering, hey, are you going to stop painting when the fan fest starts? I am not going to stop. I actually have a backup setup where push on the shelf, I can turn on the stream on the screen while I'm still painting. So yeah, as, as you see me paint, you're starting to see like what I mean by it being a, a good backdrop uh, color for a tortilla. I'm gonna switch to a more flat brush for detail. Of course, like this is just a general, just get the paint on the canvas like brush. <laughs> came off. I get my brushes uh, from Walmart, usually. Walmart or Michaels. There's one thing I don't like uh, buying offline, it is uh, brushes. It's like I like to see the texture of the hairs and everything. However, the downside to buying cheaper brushes is uh, occasionally the adhesive holding the uh, brush head to the stem uh, is not resistant to water, which means if you soak your brushes in any water-based cleaner, especially one that's specifically made with just water and soap mixes, it's going to wear as a glue, and you're going to end up with uh, some brushes that need to be re-glued every now and then. Is it fun? No. Have I dealt with more uh, irritating things as far as painting supplies? Yeah. Yellow. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay. 
Again, I'm going to shake out some more white onto the lid. Got a little bit of runoff. Okay, and now we're going to start blending that over that peachy color. I'm going to add more of that yellow from before, the like canary yellow. And that's going to tone that pinkish bit out. I have my screen settings. It could look totally different to you. It could be way too bright, it could be way too dark. I know on my end, every, everything looks fine. I went a little overplayed. But it's not an exact replica. Alright, now we gotta make the uh, little birdie bits. Little pieces where. Oh, I accidentally whistled there. That's the first time I've ever whistled. That's fun. Alright, but uh, <laughs> the little burnt bits from when you cook the, the tortilla. Oh, I don't know what this color is, but I hate it. <laughs> I made some sort of sludge color. I probably use this for shadows. No big loss, no big loss. We just clean the brush head and we start over. Alright, if I mix magenta and red with the yellow. dabbing of it. I'm not going to get greedy. Alright. Now we're going to take a smaller, still somewhat wide brush. Slightly dampen it. And we're going to go over these spots where the burns are. 
And I will do the polls on the burrito, but I want to do the burns first. Because I know this is going to be the part that annoys me the most. That was probably a little too big, but it's okay. It's okay. We won't cover it. Although I do have to go back in with... Um, Alright, I'm I can work on uh, line. I will need a more precision brush, such as this one, a little, little dabbing brush here. Now we'll need to make a little bit more of a, uh, a peachy white color. Yellow. And transfer some of it over. More yellow. Okay. Now with my flat brush.
Time check. Alright, we got a half hour. Okay, I think that about does it for the burrito. <laughs> so let's work on the veggie and meat colors. All right, luckily for me, a lot of these colors are so easy. They're either very like primary colors, various of colors that I've already mixed, or just really simple. Like there's a lot of green, which luckily I have green now. out the forest with yellow. And 
So usually when it comes to greens, I like to start out with a darker background. But for this one, I feel like doing something like middle to light wouldn't kill me. So we're starting with the pile of greens over here. Just some random square nits on like the edge of the plate. Now you're thinking, hey, wouldn't it be easier if you just, um, you know, use the green all over the inner part of the tortilla instead of just doing like, the sections it comes out in? You would think, but no, that actually makes it harder because then I have to do more coats of the other colors. Of course, you have the one over here. So, for your green, When we get five minutes before, I am going to turn on the shade countdown. And then after like the trailer, we're going to be painting and watching at the same time. Now we're going to sweep some of this green off over into a different palette. And a little smidge of a yellow. Because it is a very yellowish green. Then there's taste in a white. It's not too noticeable in the lighting that I have. And when I get that nice phone photo layer, oh, oh, you'll notice the difference. It'll look so nice. I'm like splashing it through so that I keep that dark color. Those like little streaks of the lighter on top. I do want to completely cover the line though. You're getting very close to that mark that I mentioned earlier. About 10 more minutes when we get there. We may be able to finish the greens. May. <laughs> Just adding yellow to this color so I can uh, do lines. 
Oh, that's a lovely, lovely shape. There's also some yellow in the um, leaves, but they're a bit whiter. Well, not as white as, well, not as white as just added, but. <laughs> Let me know a bit. A smidgen yellow right now. And this is for the. Not so sweet. Oh, I got a little bit of blobbing there. I didn't check the back of my brush. It's okay. It'll just take a little longer to dry. not meant to be perfect. more yellow because it wasn't very useful the first time. And the mirror's dabbing white so that it would be visible. Do the spine of the leaves. So basically those little branchy bits. Slightest dippy dot of red. In that dark green. Are you getting those little shadowy bits? Especially across the edges. Be afraid on the edges. Done with the greens. Oh, it's coming. Ah. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm on my browser screen. All right, it's bopping. Let's go. Hey. Whoa. Will we see Alpha now, now, please? <laughs>
Oh gosh. Ooh, I love that. All right, I sent in. Oh gosh. Uh, my heart's pounding. Oh, I love how the guitar comes in. That's good. Oh, that's juicy. Woo! You can't see it, but I'm jamming. my heart. Huh? <sighs> they almost got me. They almost got me. Hold on. Oh, this is jamming. going crazy we'll go crazy let's go all right I don't don't tease me like this man uh. oh is it time huh cool what Amanda on vocals, let's go! <laughs> Eating, as she does. Alright, we got that Alfie reveal or not? Nah? Oh, uh, he just looks the same. anyone using headphones just then I was oh my god <laughs> oh 
god. I'm okay. I'm okay. You have no idea how long I have been waiting for sweet baby girl Kyle to get her her flowers. Oh, I'm not a caster at all, but I would consider it for sweet baby girl Kyle. I, I can stop being a single set player just for sweet baby girl Kyle. I'm, oh my god. Words can't describe the feeling I have in this moment. They've learned from, um, they learned from N. Walker. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the shade, Squee, the shade.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I bet it's gonna have a different name though. Oh, I, I know someone. Hi, Mary. That will uh be losing their mind because they love Spriggins. <laughs> they really love Spriggins. All right, all right. All right, job trailer, job trailer, let's see it. Oh, I love the little pink brush, it's so cute. Is that the job outfit? Oh, it's adorable. Oh, oh, now I have to do it. I feel obligated. <laughs> God damn it. Y'all gonna watch me fail. Song still jams. Whoa. Also, I love this arena and the little Pikachu monster. Oh, you know I have to have it now. Oh, there goes me being a single set player. Let's go. What could I say? Streamer magic. Yeah, you bet I did. And to think, people said it wouldn't happen. People said I was wrong. Oh, another call got in. <laughs> I've seen her fight once and it is ingrained in my memory. Proud goat. Oh, uh, who is it? Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Oh, no, I have to have it. Fan artist, you know what you gotta do now. <laughs> I love that everyone's in agreement. It's like, you know the fan artists are gonna make it, right? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm so hyped. You know it's good when you got me one that's switch from being a single set player. You know it's good. God damn it. <laughs> My poor inventory, it was doing so well. Everything was so clean. <laughs> now with the lemon I have to put a bit of magenta oh and gridania let's go Wait, this was something that Kryle said way back when, in a whole new light. They said that, that she was talking about how Alphino learned to draw and paint to impress girls, but it didn't mention how or who he learned it from or why she knew that. So it stands to believe in this new context that he learned from her. We were so close, people. We were so close to me being a, a single set player. But you know, the painter has to be a painter. I just noticed I didn't add anything to the upper parts of the other sections. Alright. So, it's a buff job. Got it. <laughs> uh, no rose from the victim. Got it. One less job for me to do. So I think you have a good idea now in your mind of what victim might be like. So with that, let's take another look at the video. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take a good look at the second I'm done with this. I think this is cheese. All right, let's, let's sit back, have a look. Oh, I love this. I 
I love the Moogle laser! Excitement! So good. Oh, we are so spoiled. Um, so let's move on to the story of Dawn Trail, uh, which will feature fairy characters. Uh, as we mentioned, we will be giving you the greatest summer vacation a warrior of life could have. Uh, the site of this vacation and our new adventure will be the continent of Trav. Uh, and the reason we will be going there is for the right of succession for a nation over there. And the person who has requested our help is her. Woo! Uh, the I gotta see where the chicken goes. Uh, so far, we've only been able to show you a few clips and screenshots, uh, but we've put together all the materials we have so far into a uh, collection uh, that we will show you now. Ooh. 
so pretty. Can't come fast enough. It truly cannot. Whoa. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, please, destroy all the images you like. This just lets me know that this is elegant bullshit again. <laughs>
have to imagine for yourself to think of it as being quite different from what you've seen thus far. Train station. <laughs> Now, I feel like this is underground. I'm calling now the shit underground. <laughs> Anyone who survived 1.0 and say what the game deserves a medal of honor. A lot of people loving the baby girl cry all.
Glad to hear, glad to hear. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, I love, I love. I can't wait to take photos in there. It's going to be so cute. Oh, especially right there. Can you imagine? Oh, these photos are going to eat up. Trust, trust and believe. Ooh, a temple, temple type structure. Ooh, a little scarf blowing in the breeze. Ooh, that is some crystal clear water. Hold up, what's our filtration system like in this city? I love that use of the theme song though. That is good. Soaking, edit again. Eating as always. If this is just the draft, start keep cooking. Keep cooking. Show us what you got. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I want that cactuar so bad! I don't know what I'll use it for. I will figure it out. Oh my god. I love that cactuar. That cactuar is baby. I want 10 of them. <laughs> Do you even lip bro? Oh man, I love it. New baby unlocked. We're here for the buff cactuar. Buff cactuar for the win. Yeah. Let's go! I can see it. 
Oh, with the fur? With the furs? Okay. Oh, I, I love that. I love that. That is that is gorgeous. All right, let's go. minute adventure. Let's go. Know what that means, but it, it looks cool. I'm here for big cool monsters. That looks like a big cool monster. I'm sure you're very interested to know how you chose up. 
another character you'll see and one historian's overall. And Tom is dead. Uh, right around eight. So close to the end. I'm already losing my mind. All because I can't get these colors to mix right. Inside someone's PC. <laughs> right? We got some fans going.
I'm so happy. You guys have no idea. I'm, I'm living in this moment. I think. For everyone that complained that we didn't get anything in regard to Bajimis, I better see your butt in that freaking instance. Because so many of you don't have a cast earring, and y'all are anywhere near Eureka, but you claim you want to play Eureka. <laughs> Am I done? Did I finish? Oh my god, I finished! <laughs> I'm gonna be so busy. Oh, it, it was nice playing other games for a little bit. <laughs> Let's start with a Karen Kipplander mix. 
、皆さん、この画面を見て、左側が、えー、今、ピラミッツの方に手旗をしますので、ピラミッツの方に手旗をしていますまずやっぱり髪の毛の雰囲気というのが非常にいいですし、ね、ッシャーのタイプもしていたものと、かなりマスクのタイプとか、あれで、かなり見舞いされましたんじゃないかなと思います。Mr. Elizabeth. Very shiny, very shiny. 
Um, so with the increased pulp count, um, I think it's become a lot more natural, and it should be easier for them to get a sense of realism in your judge or perhaps realism in any of your Skin texture. Thank you, person in the front row. I too am a joint woman appreciator. describing what I was doing. So basically I'm taking some black on my brush and adding shadows to, to everything by lightly, lightly, <laughs> don't heavy hand it, but 
brushing it under the surface of items that I need to have shattered. Going around edges is the worst part. Let it flow! Thank you, person in the back. I heard you. Look at the skin. Skin care. Let's go. of the cheek makeup because it's usually just a circle. <laughs> oh, the fade out on the ear. Ooh. Oh my gosh, hold on. Wow. I did it. <laughs> What did we learn? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I feel like I could should switch to the video video section now. But I can't believe it finished! We're gonna go over to the... Your face? Ha <laughs> uh, no. Ooh! Oh, she's shiny! <laughs> My poor arm. 
My mom's gonna like that painting. <laughs> right at benchmark at. What? I can make me done even shorter. Sorry, I had to get my wipes because my hands are covered in paint. I keep makeup wipes. Oh, now that I'm finally paying attention to this entirely, she got her hair done. Looks nice. I like the curls. Roth Garmin. Is this where they reveal Fem Roth? Well, they technically already, but you mean like tell us we're getting them. Well, they can't update something that they never put in the game in the first place. Yeah. Ooh, yay. I like it. The like dark lips. Instead of them having concealer lips. Let's go. You removed their one nerf. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a handsome man's is there. Oof. The shine? Oh, she used cocoa butter. I love the skin shine. Some people hate it, but I'm sorry. I I like my Korean skincare routine. I haven't been able to replace my moisturizer, and that's why my skin's been crusty, dusty when I wake up in the morning. But still, I, I like for my skin to look all glowy and nice. Oh, shit, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, E. Work. Oh yeah, it's it's very lovely. Original.
Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Wow. All right. All right. I can get with this. Oh no, that's lovely. That looks good. Red black is a classic match together. Oh, can I finally dye the jacket? <laughs> Please tell me I can finally dye the jacket. Yay! I can make a denim! I may be too obviously southern and country, but I, I love me some denim. That's why when everyone said they hated the Criterion outfit, I was eating it up. It was quadruple denim. It had a denim hat. Like, I had to have it. It's like, why isn't your model wearing denim? Because I didn't want to be... It's the same reason why it's very rare you hear my natural accent. Because it breathes stereotypes. So far, their judgments have been so good. I've Again, like I said earlier, people are still going to be mad. Stadium air is dry as fuck.
Uh, I'm good. I have a 260. I'm fine. I'm, I'm... If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm sealing the painting right now. I have a sealant. <laughs> <laughs> I am a PC player and terrible at single player Final Fantasy games.
I love Big Cat Lady. Ooh, I love their run. I'm gonna have to start carrying some catnip rounds. You tend to be married, but I ain't. I'm not a furry, but <laughs> I'm getting all my jokes out now. <laughs> Is that their fit? Hold up. Is that their base character fit? Oh, that's cute! I am here for it! Yes, ma'am! Get it! I love that top with the color, like the gold color and like the zip up slits on the side. Ooh, high fashion! Let's go! The practical pants? The cute sandals? They're so buff. I love it. Ooh. I was so ready for Twitter to be angry, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have hope that they weren't going to announce it just so Twitter could be mad. It's so entertaining when Twitter's mad. But you're wondering, you know, why do you care? Because it's funny. That's why I care. It would have been funny if I got upset over Kyle not being in the trial <laughs> in the trailer. It's like I know where my faults lie in other people's misery. <laughs> Yep. Oh no, we good. We we are good. That hair is banger. Like a soft bean. Here's the light in those eyes. She wouldn't hurt a fly. No wonder she needs our help. It looks like a sweet little thing. Opening ceremony time. Ooh. Oh, let's go! Is Kyle in this one? Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Woo! I want to know who that is at the top. They feel important because <laughs> they're at the top.
So hype. So hype. But sweet baby girl Kyle. All right, you you lovely, lovely people. I'm happy that you guys were able to make it. I'm so glad that we got our baby girl cry all in the trailer with a new job. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. But um, there's so many goodies. So, so many happy things. I know there's going to be some people that are going to be mad. And trust and believe I already brought snacks while I scroll. Because that's all I'm going to have time to do right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just have a happy time zone. Rest, eat, whatever you need to do. And I'll see you next time. Likely with some more 14.